A couple of months ago, I got a random email from a couple of guys who claim to have built the greatest, best backpacking chair of all time, and it's gonna beat every other chair out there. The Helinox Chair Zero, the Nemo Moonlight Elite, everything. And they wanna fly out to where I am and show it to me, and basically sight unseen. I saw your, your challenge from your video a year or so ago. If you're a manufacturer out there, this is your opportunity to make like a bajillion dollars. Just beat the Helinox Chair Zero. Somebody's gotta do it eventually. Okay, yeah, if you're up for the challenge and you're willing to fly out here. We're just gonna come out and show it to you. You'll, you'll be the first person to see it. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Awesome, we'll see you when you get here. Sounds good, thanks, Dan. Hey. Come on in. Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. No, nice to meet you. Me too. I don't Thanks even know the name of your company. Rova Outdoor Gear. Rova Outdoor Gear. Yeah. Cool. You have a chair that's going to end all chairs, is what I've heard, right? That's the hope. Okay. We have every chair type that I already own. <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing from what we've talked about, which is very little, that your chair looks nothing like these. Am I right on that? Correct. Okay. Absolutely, <laughs> Absolutely correct. All right, all right, so this may be like a terrible comparison. This no, may be like, these, this is what's on the market. Yeah, this is what's yeah. on the market. Okay, so I, I don't know. What do you want to do? Should we just have them show me the chair? Let's, let's bring it out. Let's okay. bring it out. So here's the chair. Oh, wow. All carbon fiber. There you go, it's set up, ready to go. Okay. Can I sit in it? Yeah, yeah I've, I've, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Go for it. <laughs> I'm not, I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> no, it's, very, it's, a, it's a big departure from what's currently on the market. Can right? I lean on it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. No, it's, you could be. How much, how much does this thing hold? Three, 400 pounds. Three to 400 pounds. Yep. I, this is my honest reaction right now because Emmett, were we not talking about like how to be nice if this thing sucked. <laughs> I don't know. Just hold on a second here. It's it's heavier. It is, yeah, it it is heavier. It's definitely heavier. Yep. Talk, yep. Can I guess the weight on it? Sure. Yeah. This is just under two pounds? Just over. Just, just over two over. pounds? We are very close to a finished product, but there, there is a lot of work that we're still doing with this. So we got our production molds cut last week in an effort to get here to do this with you. So there will be weight that we bring out of this for sure. Just hold on, set that up again. <laughs> just hold on, well, just let me, don't, let me don't. put it back together. No, no, don't just, oh, that's to, okay. Magnets lock it together. Hold on, just, just stop. You're freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. On your mark, get set, go. That was like two and a half seconds. I actually stopped that late. That was on the inside of your backpack. It was as strapped like a to frame. the outside, strapped to the outside. Well, well, okay. Have you thought about making a backpack and then using this as the frame? Yes. Yeah. That's, that's under works. That's a prototype. When I was a kid, I had a Scoutmaster who had this, the, the style of chair that this is built on is called the Viking chair. It's one of the oldest chair designs in the world. It's been around for thousands of years. And he had one of these Viking chairs that was basically just two pieces of two by 12. And you just put them up in an X like that. One had the tail and the slot cut in it and you put it in. And then when we got talking, we were actually sitting at lunch one day and we just started drawing on a napkin, which I know is cliche, but that's literally what we were doing. And drawing on a napkin, and I just said, hey Shane, what do you think about this Viking chair idea? Like, could we take that and make a really cool carbon fiber chair out of it? So, I mean, Kendall, you can speak a lot to this, but obviously the one that you noticed immediately was setup time, right? Yeah. One of the issues that we've found with, a, with the hub style chair is that if you're backpacking and you're walking to your destination, if you're gonna stop for a 10 minute water break, Nobody is going to pull that out and practically set it up, sit down and take that moment, right, right? Right. As to where this, it literally happens in two seconds to where if you're taking a small break or a shorter amount of time, you're, you're definitely gonna utilize the chair. Durability is key with these chairs. So yep. this thing, I mean, seriously, you probably could run this over with a car and it would not break. We should try that. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we could. Well, I see the Joe Rogan where they shoot uh, the cyber truck. Yeah. 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 No, we're definitely running over one for the car for sure. Okay. All right, we're gonna run this thing over with the truck. They said it's uh, indestructible, so let's see. 
Thought I heard a crack. We're going left back there too. <laughs> yeah, it's not broken. How'd it do? How did it do? It's good. Did it really? Yeah. Are you serious? Let yeah. me see. Wow, that's awesome. What other chairs on the market are similar to this? Are there other ones on the market There's that are similar? Anything. There's nothing. nothing. There are Viking chairs, but they're not lightweight. They're all well over 10 pounds. Oh, really? Yeah. It's it's fireproof. So, I mean, I noticed on your tried and true. like oh, I've, got, I've I've lit. That's yeah. I've, I've, I've lost those in the embers fire. like you can get embers on that. It's not going to it's not never going to make we a should, hole. We should it's, burn one, too. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's sorry. waterproof. <laughs> Yeah. There's nothing to absorb water, it just wipes for, off. For the carbon fiber junkies out there, you technically can burn it. Like if you held it over a fire, it would burn eventually. Okay. But an, but an ember, ember falling on it, it's not gonna harm it. I've had friends who have brought this style of chair with me many times. And I sit in them and I'm like, yeah, that's super comfortable. The thing that, that I've been frustrated with is when I sit in it, they feel, they don't feel super stable. Like I feel kind of like I'm sitting on an eggshell. There's all of these parts that interlock. There's lots of pieces that can break, that can snap. That's what we wanted to do with this chair is, is build something that checked off every one of those boxes. Super durable, super stable, last forever, support your weight, really easy to set up, take down, all of those things. This is, I'm, this is not bad at all. Like I don't feel like it's digging it. Do you want to test it, Emmett? Here, Emmett, you sit down. I, I prefer like a firmer seat over like a cushier seat. Well, I like the, this. It's it's cool. I I got. I mean, the o the only thing I like. I said the only issue that I can see from the community of backpackers would be. It's it's this. Like I'm carrying yeah, yeah. this around. Yeah, yeah. That's the only issue that I can see people. Other than some guy being like, oh, it's two pounds or something, which most of those guys, that's what they're carrying is two to three pound chairs because they don't want to pay 180 dollars. Oh, what are you charging for it? <laughs> Wait, so, no, 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 don't tell me. Don't tell me. Can I just can I guess? You can Ooh. guess. 150. Okay, so where it's okay, made- Okay, I'm way off. Yeah, <laughs> we wish. No, where it's made out of carbon fiber, there's just no question it's gonna be the most expensive chair on the market okay. and, and by a lot. We're working on a variety of new manufacturing methods as we speak that will take some cost out of the product. But as of right now, it's probably gonna be somewhere between three and $400. Three and four. Okay, I can understand because it's carbon fiber. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely a premium product. There's no question there. Yeah, I mean, a couple of things to think about with that though. So if you light a, a fabric chair on fire, you've now bought two, right? Yep. And so it is like one of the things we're really trying to talk about with people is that it is gonna be the last chair you need. There, you, you're not gonna break it. You're not gonna burn it. You're not gonna, I mean, I guess you could lose it. Um, but that's really how you'd have to buy a new one. You'd have to lose it. What about, have you tested this in, well, I guess we're pretty muddy back here. Yeah. yeah, so so this one prototype is pretty sharp, right? Um, and this just sinks. Like, in fact, when Shane was jumping on that over there, it was sinking a little bit. So we, we did a little scoop here. Oh, yeah. And then we scooped the tail just a little bit as well. Yeah. And it holds up really well. I can't tell you how many times we go to a soccer game and we see somebody pull out the Moonlight Elite Zero or the Helinox chair to sit at the kids game, right? So we envision it being more than just a backpacking chair. We envision it having, you know, function over all sure. of those. Sure, yeah, 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 I, yeah, of course. I think you're dealing with two things. I think you're dealing with the physical structure of carrying around something that is, people aren't used to rolling up and stuffing inside of a backpack. Yep. And I think you're dealing with a uh, sticker shock. Yep. Gotcha. I think if you had, I mean, if you can get your price down, I think you're going to sell the crap out of it. I only guessed 150 because I was hoping it was going to be a little less, a though. little less, or around the same price as some of the higher end ones. But I guess I understand now that it's made out of carbon fiber. Yeah. It's going to be. I mean, obviously, expensive. right now it doesn't seem like it's in the imminent future. But we too, we're looking at a lot of options to bring it a yeah. little lower price point, right? Like things like thermal plastics and. Yeah. All said, you guys got a phenomenal. I've never seen anything like that before. That's that's freaking awesome. Are these for sale? When will they be for sale? Currently, we're we're dialing in the production. We like we said, we just barely got our production style molds. We're getting that dialed in. In the next few weeks, we're going to have a first limited run available on our website, and then after that, we'll be taking pre-orders for the second and third runs. So Rova okay. so, Outdoor Gear .com. Couple months. Yep. Yeah. End of summer. All right, well, what do you guys think? I would love to hear it in the comments below. 
and we'll see you on the next one. YouTube is a rabbit hole of information. So in order to solve that problem, I wrote a backpacking course where I took my 10 years of backpacking experience and the 400 YouTube videos that I filmed and condensed it down into just 18 videos and a few lessons for you to learn. All you have to do is go to my brand new website, danbeckeroutdoors.com and look for the course.